the cutting edge of medicine. You have to be jolly careful that you don't bugger it up. It's do or die, really. Birmingham is one of the nation's largest surgical centres. Today, in its 42 theatres, more than 100 different operations will take place. So we are doing a left Richard will have to insert a hearing aid microphone, smaller than a matchstick, right inside Paul's head, and then connect it to the tiny bones in his middle ear. To implant the device, he'll need to drill out a minute channel through solid bone and navigate between two important nerves, one that controls facial movement and another connected to the sense of taste. As quickly as possible. First, Tamara must carefully divide and detach the major arteries and veins connected to Connie's diseased liver. These need to be securely clamped so Connie doesn't bleed out. He'll then have to work fast to put the revived donor liver in position and connect it to Connie's blood vessels and bile duct. Without causing significant side effects. The treatment has two stages. First, a genetically modified sample of the common cold virus will be injected directly into the prostate. The virus is altered so it won't spread and so it changes the biochemistry of the cancer cells. Next, after 48 hours, a drug is given to the patient. When this drug comes into contact with the cancer cells affected by the virus, it will start to kill them off. The tumour is untreatable by chemo or radiotherapy two surgical teams will need to remove Bob's left kidney and the rest of the tumour that has grown within his IVC. The only way they can do this is to stop Bob's heart altogether, drain his blood, slice open the vein. The tumour has grown until it extends all the way from Jasmine's diaphragm to her pelvis. Her liver, intestines and stomach have all been pushed aside and the tumour has swallowed up one of her kidneys. <laughs>